This place has been inhabited for thousands of years. Unfortunately, people had to move away. And now no one lives here. My name is Pamela Gross, and we're in Umingmakdo, which is also known as Bay Chaimo. And it's where my grandparents were living, where my grandfather was born, and I grew up here in the summer times. I was about eight years old the last time I came here. It's so special. It's just surreal to be back. It's almost in a way a decommissioned ghost town in the sense that the opportunities were all brought to Cambridge Bay and Kogluktuk and here it's more like an outpost camp. <coughs> Cambridge Bay became the settlement that was uh, had a school and a hostel so a lot of um, People had to send their children to the residential school in Cambridge Bay and they would only come back during the summer months. There wasn't very much resources here for jobs or an opportunity to, you know, make money for your family. So when the hostel closed down in the early 90s, people from here had to move there to take care of their children. Cambridge Bay was never really a place where people wanted to live. They wanted to live in this beautiful environment that had abundance of food and um, other resources that they would use in their daily lives. I hope one day that we can populate this area and whoever would like to move back or newcomers could come here and live here. It's so unique and beautiful.